we knew we had a lot of different milestones, so we broke it down into something that was easily digested for us. We looked at the schedule, we divided the floors into four quadrants. It was 50,000 feet. We thought at that time that that would be a manageable chunk of work to handle at one specific time. So that determined what the manpower was, um, and that was, uh, you know, we shared that information with our subcontractors so they were able to plan accordingly. Multiple operations going on four different floors. Uh, simultaneously and a large amount of tradespeople and workmen. Clean construction, uh, phase meeting, scheduling, our process for managing change, uh, those were all critical components to the success of the project. It is a perfect complement to safety because at the end of the day, I don't want to have extra materials where I have to work around them, I have to clean around them. I don't want to move materials three, four, five times. I want to get it, I want to get it when I need it, and get it installed. Staying on task is very important. We had weekly meetings, consultant meetings uh, that were ran uh, diligently, and that helped everyone stay on target. To pull planning, when we were building our schedule, we were able to bring all those contractors in the room, utilize our expertise, their expertise, and leverage all those together to come to the most efficient schedule we could possibly come to. In this project specifically, we focused on just-in-time delivery. So that would mean um, no more than three days before somebody's to install something, they have to get it on site. If I know this area is going to be available, I can get it done in the time I need it. If I need lift usage to get high in the ceiling, or if I need ladders or scaffolding, it can be built and used without obstacles in the way. It's Again, taking all the experts, getting the subcontractors to buy in, um, and using each other's resources, you get everybody working together. 